Here we are at Akron Children's Hospital, and I'm sitting and chatting with Dr. Kerwin Jones, who's a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. Doctor, this is the season that we're seeing a lot of injuries. I should say you're seeing a lot of injuries firsthand when it comes to lawnmowers. Yeah, well, you know, unfortunately, summer should and can be a lot of fun for kids, but with that increasing activities, we see a lot more injuries, okay. and specifically lawnmower injuries. Uh, there's thousands of kids getting injured by lawnmowers throughout the country, and we see them here at Akron Children's Hospital, unfortunately, too often. Now, we all think that we have common sense, but that's not always the case, especially when there's children around, we just assume they're gonna know better. Where do we start with advice? It's a good question because, you know, a lot of these injuries that occur, occur because they're young preschool kids that are in the yard and the person operating the mower doesn't even realize that they're within distance of that mower. And you can imagine the kids get encouraged to get excited about the mower. They want to run up to grandpa, or run up to their dad or mom cutting the grass and jump on board. And they just don't know they're there. You know, my first thought was, these are children or young or older children that are cutting the grass themselves and they're injuring themselves. But what I hear you saying is, is that it's just little ones that are approaching a, a, a loud motor that's somewhat attracted to them. Well, actually, there can them. be two groups. So there are the young kids, okay. the ones that just don't know any better. And then there are the adolescents or pre-adolescents, the 12, 13, 14. A lot of times these are kids that are doing this as a summer job or it may be their chores for their parents over the summer. and they are safe, but they don't necessarily know all the rules to, re to operate that machinery properly. I think we as adults don't know all the rules either. And yeah. it passes down because we just assume that, yeah, we're not gonna put our hand in a moving blade, yeah. but that's not always the case. What advice can you give? Is there a checklist? Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things that we can do to really make these kids safe. And number one is to understand if they're young kids, six and under, preschool and under, just make sure they're not even in the yard. Because again, they just aren't aware of what they're doing. And you may not be aware as you're backing the mower up that they're even behind you. And I've seen that numerous times. I think number two is with the older kids, the 12 year old, 13, 14 year old, the studies will show that they're probably safe to operate a push mower around the age of 12 and a riding mower around the age of 16. Now, I will confess, my dad had me operating mine before the age of 16, but when I think back on some of the things I did, it was risky behavior, I probably shouldn't have been. And I also think there are a couple other simple things. One is, some of these kids get injured because rocks, sticks, toys, actually get shot out of the lawnmower and the kids in the yard surround and get hurt. So it, it makes sense to just check the yard, do a once over, make sure there's no obvious rocks, sticks, toys, things of that nature around there. Yeah, accidents happen, but there's a lot of things we can do yeah. to prevent those accidents from happening. So these people, these children, don't have to see you face to face. Exactly, yeah. and you know, they happen, and it's with good intention. These are people that are just, you know, oftentimes it's a grandparent that wants to ride their kid on the mower which often can be really disastrous because even though you may feel like you have that kid secured in between your legs, the minute they see something, they jump off and you're not paying attention and we see them getting hurt that way all the time. Awesome advice. Now I understand we can get more information on lawnmower safety. Where do we go? Sure. Uh, there's a couple places. One, we have information at Akron Children's Hospital. So you can go to akronchildrens.org. And then the Amer American Kid Academy, sorry, American Academy of Pediatrics which actually has a lot more information about the specifics and the recommendations, you can go to aap.org. Terrific. Doctor, thank you so much for keeping us safe. Thanks for your appreciate time. It. I appreciate it. You bet. For more information, akronchildrens.org.